What I want to talk about actually now, because I was I'm in an hour whether or not to tell this story or not, but I'm going to tell it because obviously back in season two, Formula Reason actually sort of revealed that the fan boost system wasn't actually working. And maybe this has been part of its downfall as we've been discussing because Formula E have had to adapt to that story and maybe those adaptations have made it harder for the fans to sort of engage and sort of, you know, actually vote. Because I'm going to tell the story. So the story is quite simple, actually. If back in season two, there was a lot of... People were unsure how valid these fan boost votes were and where they were coming from. And there was a lot of drivers in press releases saying, like, we need to check these numbers. And formerly weren't really responding. They were working with Telescope at the time to sort of explain, it sort of to, to do the fan boost. The Telescope was sort of the people in charge of the software and how fan boost worked. But... As I said, the drivers were thinking, I think this needs to be checked out because these numbers are not right. It seems like there's a massive jump. And little old me here, um, who know nothing about source code, absolutely nothing about source code in HTML5, went into FanBoost's website, opened up the source code, I clicked a few buttons, got a bit lucky, and I... F no, I didn't, crash the, I didn't crash the website. But I got, I got a bit lucky and I... I stumbled across the live feed of who was getting votes and who wasn't getting votes. So I could see, I literally had everyone's votes in front of me, their live vote at that time. So what I decided to do, I couldn't believe I found it, kept it quiet for, I found it actually in a hotel room. So how it actually worked was someone messaged me on Facebook, I don't know who, someone messaged me on Facebook and told me Fan Boost is rigged in Berlin season two and proved it to me. He said, Oliver Turvey and Nico Prost have zero votes. No one has voted for them, right? So if I give them a vote, he'll move up one. And then if I give Oliver Turvey two votes, he'll move up against... And, and he did that. He showed me it. And I was like, wow. And he said, the reason I can vote multiple times is because it didn't matter what email you put in in the fan boost system at that time. You could have put job at job.com. That was that registered as an email. You could put xxx at xxx.com. That was an email. It was it counted as a valid vote. And I think that was me. Because <laughs> was that you? I did that. I did that. I remember do I remember doing I I I remember doing that for, for, for the fan boost. This is before I got professional. Um <laughs> and so yeah, i um I uh I did do that a few times. So that might have been me telling you about that years yeah. ago. So So uh, so anyway, so, move, so I could so straight away I knew that the email system was bugged because you could have you you could have voted a million times a day if you wanted to. If you wanted to sit there and vote for Lucas Degrassi a million times, all you needed to do was write a million different emails and you would have voted for him. But that wasn't the actual sort of way people were doing it. That was one way you could bot the system. So I had the live timing. So what I decided to do over a two week period between the Berlin race and the London race. I was I found the actual system because at the time in Berlin I hadn't actually found the source code and I went away the source went dead he didn't tell me how he did it and I had to go I knew it was broken and I was like I've got to find out how it's broken so again over the next few days I've managed to find it so when Fanboost opened because Fanboost didn't open a week before it opened two weeks before so I waited for Fanboost to be that two week gap between London and I documented it from day one to day 14 to so when the actual race went out and what happened was stunning because obviously it sort of started i think it was simona di silvestro jumped out to an early lead and always in every single fan boost race that season simona di silvestro jumped to a massive to a massive high and she and this then brought into the example of botted votes because then you could trace, because you, I was monitoring it every hour, she was like, 50 votes, and then all of a sudden, 1,700 votes. And I was like, oh, that looks suspicious as anything. But then you're like, well, will that trend continue? And that trend didn't continue. So then she would just plateau, like hardly get any votes. The worst was marching Wa. Um, he'd get no In votes. In all senses throughout. of the word, yes. Yeah. He'd get, he'd get more no votes, basically. And then overnight... 1,000 votes. Boom. No votes for the rest of the day. Second night, two, he's on another set of 1,000. And it just kept increasing by 1,000. And I was like, that has got to be botted votes, right? And then all of a sudden, as 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 the weeks sort of, as the days went on, the more botted votes came. And drivers who, who didn't 
think they were being botted were being botted. And who was botting them, I don't know. It could have been a random person. It could have easily been the teams because the teams would have found out if their team clocked on like I did before that they could just do whatever they wanted with the system and, and get votes that way, then easy peasy, just spend 20 quid on botting 10,000 votes, for example, because they were cheap. Like I went on a botting site. It actually said, type in the website you want, the link that you want, pay this much, this many votes will come onto it. And I was like, oh, I, 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 I found the website that I could actually do it. And I was like, wow. So basically, over the period of time, tons of botted votes. Even on race day, Nick Heitfeld jumped 40,000 votes on race day in a space of an hour. And it, you knew that these votes were botted because it was happening within a space of 20 minutes. It wasn't a prolonged... It was like, And then it stopped. Like, no votes happened after this 20 minute or 10 or half hour period. I remember you know, following it. I remember I put everything on like a spreadsheet and on graphs. And then I thought to myself, okay, in the London, I was actually, I was actually even doing it in the London press room with Formula E right behind me. Because actually the main people from Formula E that day were sitting behind me. I was still checking the fan boost system into the race. And it wasn't really being botted into the race. It sort of finished by the time the race had started because fan boost and votes were announced six minutes into the race. So I then turned to Formula E and I said to them after that race, I said, look, I've got the information to prove that fan boost is rigged and I presented the information to them in, in an email the following day I said look here is all my findings all my things and then Formula E they went to Telescope and they Telescope gave them their results from fan boost and then they gave them mine now the numbers weren't identical now there's a reason why the numbers weren't identical because when I was I don't know when they were time stamping their votes so obviously they could have a different timestamp to my timestamp. So the votes were slightly off when I took the pictures and then when I screenshotted it on my computer. That's what I mean. But the Formula E said they were off by a little bit, but they were basically identical. And from that moment, Formula E had to completely change how they operated FanBoost. So now, for example, you have to verify your email. Ways you didn't do that before. You had to verify your email that came because of our story. That happened. Telescope was gone. Te by Telescope, they've added a new partner. You can't now... Then then that new partner made it much harder for the likes of me, who know nothing about source codes, to actually like get on top of and actually find the votes. So they blocked me pretty well. But then Formula E went one step further just to prove that no one could... If someone did find it, no one could increment it by an hour to see how you could. Then they said, right, the votes update every 24 hours. So you sort of can't, you have to rule out bots in that sense. Like, because you can't be sure because the vote was updated 24. Anything can happen in that 24 hour period from when it was, and it was like it's five o'clock. Every five o'clock it updates, but I can't see the votes anymore, sadly. Um... But so if someone has a big jump in 24 hours, you could just say, oh, someone obviously voted a lot for him or it's bots. But there's no way to prove that. So, yeah, an amazing story of how it was. Rigged, but amazing to see how Formula have adapted to that and maybe how, you know, Telescope at that time, they didn't they probably didn't expect little me to go. But the best bit was is after I released the story, I was actually outside in my garden putting some washing on the line and I'm getting a message from Lucas Degrassi via Twitter who was like, I can't believe your story. I can't believe I was bodied. But to be fair, Lucas Degrassi at the time, he didn't need to be bodied. He was the driver that actually consistently got the most votes. Consistently without, it didn't look suspicious at all. It just gradually increased every day. So it looked like a, a, a trend of a popular driver getting votes over a series of time basically but that was the best moment for me was when Lucas Degrassi messaged me on Twitter and I was putting the washing out on the line and he was like mate this is unbelievable but then obviously Formula E have put things in place to sort of stop that from happening but you know you need a proper proper geek at this precise moment. Jack I, was, I just love that story because it sounds so much like the Formula E version of Watergate especially with this super secret source that contacts you on Facebook and tells you yeah. spills the beans to you. And that's how it that's how it started it, it was amazing absolutely amazing.